Hello? You're you're just here. Ah! Ow, no! Yeah, what's cracking by the truckers? How uh, tits y'all doing today, man? Dude. Fuck. Woo! No injuries, bruh. <laughs> so I'll get Ah! What's cracking mother truckers? Holy dick, dude, we got another. What is that? A freaking. Is that a truck, dude? Is that. No! 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 Is that freaking truck fidget? Alright, guys, so yeah, another truck fidget for you guys by me asking, why the tits are you driving the bourbon, dude? You never drive the freaking bourbon. It's looking all clean and stuff like that. That's pretty cool, right? Yeah, I've been driving the bourbon the past couple weeks because, well, guys, it's time to talk about something really serious. And that's shops that you take your truck to to have them do something cool. And they screw it up! So yeah, I took my old Dirty Max, which we're gonna go to right now, to my body guy who's actually good at doing, you know, work on stuff. And uh, he fixed all the freaking problems with this one company that I don't really wanna name. Um, <coughs> uh, parts, you know? And so uh, we're gonna just go and, and check that out. But first, dude, you guys gotta check it out, man. I just got a couple things done in the bourbon. Of course I washed it. The wrap on this thing, man, it's fading pretty good. Like, got a lot of marks back here that are just kinda, it's getting really bad, you know, with the sun. Cause I'm not able to fit this thing in any of my garages or whatever, right? Scratches going on. So I'm, I'm ready to take this wrap off. I'm ready to do a new wrap. Man, I'm a big fan of snow camo lately. You know, it is the freaking winter. So I like to do kind of like a snow camo white theme with the same kind of look, you know what I'm saying? Cause I like this look. So you guys let me know in the comments below if you guys got a good uh, wrap idea or something like that, you know? But first, what I do, did is we got new tint on the sides. Banjo bro, when he was a little baby, freaking all right, all right, all right. He scratched the tits out of this son, bitch. So we got new tint. This is 20%, which is not exactly legal. Apologize. What the? Fuck? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So we got 20% done on the two fronts. The backs are fine. These are basically 20 with the perforated windows. And then we got the windshield done. Windshield uh, 30%. And then we got a new 5% strip. Took the uh, keep a freaking hillbilly sticker off the front because. Some bitch just was fading like crazy, so had to get that done there. So it looks pretty cool. Looks a little bit better. Pretty simple. I do have a freaking headlight out. And these are them Anzo projectors. And one of the projectors is out, which is the running light, which sucks because you can't really replace. It's a pain in the dick. You basically got to buy a whole new assembly. So I got to freaking go do that, man. I don't know what I'm doing, really. I don't really know what I'm doing. All right, well, um... Let's go to the body shop. <coughs> Hi, here we are. We are here, ladies and gentlemen. Who's here? Who's here? Who's here? Oh. Uh, hey! Who's here? Who's here? Happy voices. Hello. Hey, what are you doing? Tom, my name. All right, guys, here we go. Julie, right here. We're in my man Tom's place, Mirror Image. The greatest body shop in the whole world, of all of the worlds. <laughs> and uh, he also got my Camino, which is back over there. We'll go, let's go get an update on the El Camino right now. Look at this pretty thing. Not so pretty right now, but. Oh, dang. Got all the body works done on the doors. Yeah. The roof, the hood's been primed once, blocked. Yep. It's ready to paint. That's pretty. Oh, I can't wait to drive this thing again. It's gonna be so fun. So, like I said, once the body work's done on this, we are going to be, hey, can you guys see me? Am I too close? We're gonna be doing a, uh, a matte black on this whole thing. Tom, I think I'm gonna go with the gloss black stripes. Let's do it. I think we're gonna do it. do it. I don't think I'm gonna wrap it quite yet. No. I think if I want to, maybe just to give it a cool look for a couple of years, maybe I can, but at least it'll be painted underneath. We're gonna do the gloss black SS stripes. Big ol' outlaw logo on the hood. It's gonna be like the death proof car. I think it'll be pretty sweet. Yeah. So. You guys getting into too much trouble. So there's the El Camino. Now we gotta look at the Dirty Max. See what happens. So I brought it over to Tom because, um, well, I took it to a certain company. <clears throat> and uh, had them put the roof rack on because the roof rack is a really big pain to, to do. I ordered it through them, so I just had them do it, right? Well, what happened was when they put it on, there was no brace, nothing like that. It was just wobbling around. It came loose all the flipping time, like nothing was tightened down. And uh, it ended up cracking my freaking roof within like a month of having it on, dude. It cracked my roof and it made the god awful worst noise ever whenever I was driving down the road. Now, I brought it to Tom. Mirror image, and we'll see what he did. I haven't even seen it yet. This is the first time. 
Okay, what we ended up doing is they had put nut certs down into the metal itself. Uh -huh. So you can see that we went ahead and just made some braces to run from the factory braces. Uh huh. Then we went ahead and drilled through the braces, threaded them, oh, ran yeah. the bolts from the bottom up. Yep. And tacked the braces into place. That's sweet. Came Loaded back, it there. Got a lot more stability now to work with. Than sure. That's it'll sweet. It'll be a man. lot stronger up there. Then oh, we yeah. went ahead and welded up what we had to to get taken care of that crack up on the roof and yeah. painted it. Sweet. Yeah, we'll take a look at that because it was a crack like that big and it just kept going. Would you dog stop it? Hey, you guys, you behave. Sorry, you Dad. guys behave. So, this is where the uh, crack was really bad up here. Dude, where'd it go? Are you serious? It's like it was never there. What? I can't even. <laughs> I can't even see where it was. What in the world? So right here is where it was, right behind that line. I can't point. Yeah, there was a giant crack right there in the middle of the screen, and I can't even see where it was. Beautiful, man. That's flipping awesome. So now, no more crack, and. Oh, dude, that's already so much more stiff. Dang. Before you could just... Yeah, it ain't gonna go anywhere. That's I wouldn't sweet. climb up there. You could put a few things that wouldn't go hog wild. Yeah. But uh, definitely it's gonna hold up. Yeah, for sure. That's awesome, man. So we got these braces and both sides and that's awesome. Some nice yellow tape. Oh yeah, I ran it all the way to the back. That's a lot better now. The problem with these new trucks is it's just like, it's just a little there's no bracing whatsoever when you're putting it in so it's just it's just going to sit there and flop like the suburban it just it, it just has a lot more support on that older vehicle style these new ones i don't know if it has anything to do with the work truck package or whatever but there wasn't any bracing or anything to support it whatsoever so it just bounced around so this was definitely needed look at that even cut a hole in the middle for the lights that's awesome beautiful man <sighs> my man tom always does it again took care of this back here oh dang oh yes you guys know i've been wanting this forever to to bedline the inside of this beautiful so we bedline it so now the front and back they're they're both black so it'll probably look it'll it'll be more aesthetically pleasing down the road which will be cool as you can see all this stuff right here right after i got the wrap on this is all asphalt that's not overspray from tom trust me that's all asphalt right there you can see it, I got it all over my wrap. I went down a road where they just paved and it was no bueno. No bueno. Thank you, my man. Right Saved on. me. You'll be back on the road now. Oh yeah, I know. My man Tom, mirror image. You guys in Colorado and you need any body work, you let him know. Or paint work, because he does a really good job too. He's got all types of cars. We're, oh dude, he's got his old Nomad in here. What's your plan for the Nomad? For the Nova? Or Nova, yeah. sorry, Nomad. Um, <laughs> I've got the... Got it pretty well stripped. I gotta fix some rust in the quarter panels. Was that a 70? 71. 71. Same year as my El Camino. Got a 350 in it, four speed. And you're gonna try to finish this by your birthday? Yeah. So how much time you got? Till the end of May. Dang. When's your birthday? The 28th. Oh, mine's 25th. Is it? Yeah, you're a little younger than me though. I'm, <laughs> I'm a, a few years older than me. <laughs> what do you get? It's, it's called Raptor. It works good. Yeah. That's sweet. I like it. it. Looks a lot better. I like it because it holds up good. Like on this one here, I'll paint all this a satin black and I'll do all that under here. Yeah. So you'll have the protection underneath. Yep. And it looks nice too. You yeah. know, if somebody walks up and they run their hand under, they go, oh, that's nice. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks man. Good days, man. All right, Tom. All right. Hey, you guys have a good night. You, you too. too. We'll see you. Hey, thanks. Yes, sir. Well, there you go. Nice to have a little update on the Dirty Max. We'll pick that up. We got to go. Me and Bro are going to go snowboard tomorrow so we're gonna pick it up on friday he's gonna throw that uh, roof liner back up so nice to have that especially when i actually want to carry stuff on top and crack the roof he did a really good job he's a really good painter too i can't wait to see what he does with the el camino but yeah man the vehiculars are getting done i know you guys want more truck bitches so here's one for you i hope you guys enjoy it we'll be doing some more stuff i'm waiting for some freaking snow it's been snowing like crazy in the mountains but it ain't been snowing down here in the foothills so we're gonna try to uh, get some some four wheeling in the snow vidges coming up, but it's still not supposed to snow for the next couple weeks, so we'll try to get her done. But we'll see you back at the house. <laughs> dude, we just appeared right here at home, dude. What's cracking? <laughs> I farted. I don't know if you could hear that or not. I apologize. I know you guys wanted a K20 update. It's just been freaking sitting here. It works and everything. Just ain't been driving it much, but because, well, because, because, well, 
There's no freaking seats inside. There are, but they're a little low. <laughs> so if you guys don't remember, I got these PRP racing seats. Let's take one of these out. Got these PRP racing seats right here. And uh, we're gonna weld these up inside and I'm gonna have Tom do that as well. And uh, we just gotta basically, once the El or once at least the Duramax is done, I can probably bring this over and he can work on it uh, when he's getting parts in for the El Camino. But um, yeah, we basically just need to make a bracket because there was a bench seat here. And you know, of course we got two bucket seats. So we're just gonna lift it up, get my eye level and everything good. And then these will be in and I think they'll be pretty cool. We'll take these old seat belts out and I got racing straps. So that'd be freaking sweet. And then, you know, there is the thing that I have been thinking about. You know, I live in Colorado, right? I live in the Rocky Mountains, man. You know, the only problem about living up high in this elevation is it really sucks to have a carbureted motor. And I didn't really think about that whenever I was putting this 383 stroker in it with Dang. So I'm thinking I might just sell it. What do you guys think? You guys want to buy it? Let me know in the comments below. Just kidding, dude. <laughs> it... Freaking planes, dude. Hey, so. Oh, dude, freaking chemtrails, man. Dude, get down. The government, they're coming to get us, dude. Come on. But I am thinking about maybe. I don't know, dude. Maybe putting another, like, a, like doing like an LS swap or something in it. Maybe just selling this. I don't freaking know, man. I. Listen, the 383 is cool and everything, but it's like, maybe I'll just get it fuel injected because it's it's cool to have the 383 in there. You know, it, we already did all this work. The vidges were dope. So maybe if we just fuel inject it, it'd be cool rather than doing a whole different motor swap. But you guys let me know what you guys want to do in the comments because I always do what you guys want to do. <laughs> I don't know why I walked off camera. Sorry about that. But yeah, that's going to do it for today, mother truckers. Like I said, thanks to my guy Tom over there. Just wanted to give you an update on the freaking truck skis and we're going to be doing some more soon, man. So I got a bunch of little things to do on the bourbon and uh and then of course this freaking thing it is winter so i'm just waiting for some freaking snow man and then we're just gonna be freaking ripping it dude we're just gonna freaking rip it live to thrill style but that'll do it for me my name is me mini. but that'll do it for me my name's outlaw and i'm out and i was ripping no matter what you're doing 25 8 366 keep freaking hillbilly son of a dick Slide down the